is my 20th year here at Johns Hill. You will immediately notice when you walk into the door, um, you're going to hear it. You're going to see art. You're going to hear music. You're going to feel the joy that comes from using all the fine arts pieces. You know, our students are very busy. They're involved usually in more than one extracurricular group. And at this age, that also means the parents are involved in more than one extracurricular group. Band and orchestra and show choir are for music. And then for sports, I do volleyball, track, and basketball and cheer. I'm in band and orchestra with Mr. Miller. I'm in track and cross country. But this year they opened up a drama club and I was in that too. We did Frozen Junior. I was Olaf. The two biggest things that are different are the fact that we house the District English as a Second Language program and then our focus on arts integration. Um, having the ESL program here is an amazing opportunity uh, around so many different backgrounds and nationalities every day. Um, and then that, that just continues to grow. There are a lot of different cultures and nationalities and religions uh, represented here. There's a ton of different cultures, religions, and races here. It's a great feeling coming here and knowing that everyone is welcome. There's so many different things that happen at this school. And it's one of the only schools I'm pretty sure we can get an ESL program. So arts integration isn't just taking an art class. It's how the teachers use a different form of art to help them teach what standard they're doing. Not just using it to help understand a language arts standard, but also learning an arts standard as well. Playing just music and being in that band room brings me the joy. It just makes me happy. It's a way to just sort of calm me down. Instead of being a passive learner, we spend a lot of time doing things like art projects. Um, we'll do acted outs in social studies. We'll do simulations, um, political cartoons, using music. Um, we did radio dramas to retell um, wars of World War II. That's the other thing. It doesn't have to be music. It doesn't have to be visual arts. There's all different kinds of art. And some of our, what you would consider encore teachers, do the reverse. I know a lot of times in PE, uh, students will be using sentence starters as part of their uh, relay races and different things. So, you know, it really, it being involved in both your core and encore standards in each of your lessons is, is the key to arts integration. There are so many activities and so many groups and clubs that are welcoming to anyone. If you are a member here at the staff, you are all about the kids. Um, we put kids first before anything else. You have the permission to be creative here, um, to put your own spin and be supported by administration to try something new um, to attach to those kids. The staff at Johns Hill, they're, they're different than a lot of adults and faculty members that I've met at other places. They'll help you without you even asking for help. And if they know or can tell that you need something, they're just there instantly. The staff here at Johns Hill, they're like a second family to you. Being in the classrooms and around the kids is definitely the highlight of the day. Whether it be uh, stopping in a kindergarten class to be Zero the Hero for the day or having lunch with you know the middle school students. It creates a culture where my child is confident, um, she's creative, through their experience, if they come through the John Till program, I know for a fact that they will be prepared for high school. Um, and we hear that from the kids coming back to visit us all the time that they go to high school and they feel very well prepared and, and prepared in life. We're moving into the new building in August of 2021. So many features in the new building that I'm excited about. It was designed with the arts programs and arts integration in mind. All of the elementary classrooms have a work area that they can share with sync capabilities. And for some of our arts program, there will be a black box theater. Having the brand new state-of-the-art auditorium will be nice as well. And then there will also be a yoga and a dance studio. So lots of different opportunities for our students in the arts. I don't think anything will have the character and architecture that the old building has. You, you don't see that anymore and I'll miss that. 
We're a culture. We really pride ourselves in having those connections between um, families and even multi-generational families. It's a family. Most of our teachers, once they start here, stay here. And the same with our students. We see students nine years from kindergarten all the way through eighth grade. And many times we continue to see them as they come back through high school, college, or even uh, to try to get their students, their children involved. On a weekly basis, we will have high schoolers, college students come back from major universities. They come back and say, it was because of Johns Hill that I've been able to do this. How we've changed through time and continued to be successful, continued to keep the, the culture and atmosphere that we have. To me, that touches my heart and really wants me to keep going, but also knowing that my child, if they've gone through the same program, has a great future ahead of her as well. When you see the students pass, you're going to notice that this isn't you know, what you typically see in Decatur. There's the joy um, in the education, and I think that's the magic that works. Some kids, when they first come to new schools, they don't know where to fit in, but I assure you, even if you come to John Hill for just one year, you will find a place to fit in.